Hello everyone, I'm Robert Marzullo from Ramp Studio Comics. Welcome back. And this is part three of five on digital painting in Manga Studio, also known as Clip Studio Paint. So in this lesson, we're going to work right from a silhouette and start adding in details and editing the work. So this is a little bit different than the other lessons of this course where I first show you how to draw the concepts and then add effects to it. This is a method where you go directly to paint and you work from large to small. And the reason why I'm showing you this, and it's a bit of a different style than what I've taught you thus far, is basically that you want to experiment with a variety of methods and a variety of styles with your digital painting. Uh, not all things work as well for every aspect of your painting. So if you can add different tools to your toolbox, then you're going to be able to create your paintings no matter what you run into. So I think this is a really strong exercise to be able to work from and, and learn a lot from. So what you see me doing here now is adding in texture first by hand. Uh, a lot of times when you create paintings like this, you have to add in a lot of texture to really get it to stand out and have some bit of realism, even though it's a fantasy type illustration. So we'll go back and forth from using a variety of brushes, some of which are custom created brushes, others which are just simply in Manga Studio. And, you know, build up on that texture and then start to add in light source and just really you know, bring out the details of, you know, what started off as a pretty boring silhouette. So I'll also be showing you how to make quick edits to your work, which is another important thing with this type of painting. You'll also learn how to create custom brushes in Manga Studio, and I'll show you where that can be a, a huge time saver and adding effects to your paintwork. And this particular lesson is two hours and 51 minutes in real time to create this painting. But it shows you a lot of the techniques that I use to create, you know, character paintings and environments uh, for my digital work. So at the end of this, you'll get, you know, a firm understanding of how to create something like this, how to edit the work, when to merge down layers, how to add things after you've merged down layers. So just a variety of uh, things will be covered. So when you get this lesson, you not only get access to the video file, but you also get a layered version of the artwork and high resolution. You get the custom brushes that are created here, so you'll have access to those as well. Um, and it, you know, remember that if you ever have any questions about any course that you take of mine, I'll do my best to answer it and also address it in future uh, episodes and lessons. So I thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this course and I will talk to you soon.